and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with the first round of our pre-release for Lost Thunder. <clears throat> so it is me versus Nick, and we are getting ready to be set up there. I can see that nice silver GX counter there. Unfortunately, neither of us got GXs, so we're setting up our hand for our turn here, seeing what we can get. So if you guys haven't already had a look at our um, opening video, I definitely go check that out because obviously then you'll know what we've got in here without any spoilers. Um, but if you have seen it, then we managed to pull the Tapu Lele promo, which was pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Looks like we've got a mulligan there on Nick's side. Pretty sweet. So we're all, I'm, I'm all ready. I've got my one active up front. Um, we're, uh, we're just waiting. Sat waiting for Nick to find himself an active. Just an active. There we go. Right, now we can split. All good. Right. Moving on. One, two, three, four, and five going down. Uh, actually, there's seven, so why am I saying five? Don't know why. Has he got an active? Yes, he has. Good, good, good stuff. Okay. Four price cards, and looks as if we're all ready to go. Mulligan has been taken. And look at that, we're starting with the Lele up front. And Nick has got a Mareep up front, which means he's probably got the Amphros line, which is an interesting uh, line. Hopefully we'll be able to see that in this. But we've got a Fairy Energy being attached to our Lele. Uh, checking out what we could do with this card in particular. Possibly a Trainer. No, it's going to be uh, one of the fairy charms and that basically allows me to confuse the opponent when that gets attached so I do that straight away just to get some confusion going if he does have the evolution then he'll play that next to uh, not next turn the turn after TV reporter coming down there so we can draw three and then discard one from our hand then get rid of something that we possibly don't need and uh, looks as if we might have just got rid of a Faber or a Kahili there Poplio going down there. Love that artwork for that Poplio. It's really, really cool indeed. Nick draws for turn. Probably going to be maybe an energy attached there to try and get ready to uh, power us up. Probably a copycat as well, seeing as it looks as if I was just uh, counting my uh, my hands. Or my hand. Energy going on backwards. Very nice. Okay. And is that a copycat going to come out? Yep, there we go. Copycat is coming out there. <clears throat> Looks as if I was animating to sort of do that myself, but uh, that would have been wrong. Haha! <laughs> that would have been 100% wrong. Okay, so split that, and he, I think he can draw maybe about five or six. One, two, three, four, five. I think I've got six in hand. Yep, three, three. There you go. Showing it off again. So has he managed to get anything there? He's already attached for turn. Has he got any more basics? Does he have the does he have the evolution for next turn? Let's have a little look. Nope, looks as if he's gonna pass. Okay. So we got several energies in hand. Another fairy going onto that Lele there. Um, got Wigglytuff in hand there, possibly a Primarina, maybe a Deli Bird. I'm not too sure in hand there. Managed to pull a Deli Bird, so I put that in there. And it was only because uh, it allows you the first attack. It allows you to search out for tool cards and attach them. So I thought, oh, that'd be really good, you know. Got and several of the fairy types rely on those fairy charms being on them. So yeah, it could be very very cool. So we've got an underground expedition there for several cards here, putting uh, two back on the bottom and bringing those two into our hand. So we've got a fairly decent hand, but it looks as if we're just going to pass turn. Draw for turn from Nick. And that's a Titan Lisa coming out again, another shuffle there. Okay. Interesting. Obviously looking for some sort of card. Obviously. Okay. Sp 
split that and draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, does he manage to get the evolution? Possibly. Oh, yeah, that looks like a flaffy. That is looking flaffy like. Yep, so we can rotate that around because flaffy is evolving that. That's fine. Energy being attached there as well. Which means I think he can do 40 to us, and we're confused. Okay. Okay, well we got a Brion in hand, which we're going to evolve there. Um, are we going to attach an energy, or are we just going to sit there and take the punishments? Maybe try and get our bench stacked up now, I'm not too sure. Water energy going on to the Brion there. We've got a copycat in hand, although I don't think that's going to be the best sort of solution, seeing as he's only got three, so, or are we going to attempt? Ooh, are we? We're not. Are we going to pass turn? What are we doing? We can't do that. That's, uh, I think it's a custom catcher, I think, maybe? Two energies on there, we're not going to be able to attack because we just passed turn there. Can it get the Amphros to evolve there and start doing some very interesting damage to get this sorted very quickly indeed. Let's have a little look, see if he can. Let's have a little look. Is that an Amphros? I'm not too sure. Could be a Raikou. Possibly. Yep, yeah, okay, so that was an Iron Frost, okay. So he can discard two lightning energies. If he does, he puts a, I'm paralyzed. Which can be quite anno uh, annoying. But he's not discarding them, he'd be sending them to the Lost Zone instead. So the Lost Zone would then keep those energies there. Looks as if. Uh, there we go, that's better. <laughs> so he's taking us from being confused to paralyzed. Yep. And is he going to do the 50-50 split, or is he not? Yeah, it looks as if he is going to do the 50-50 split here, which is going to really, really annoy us a lot, because we can't get out of paralysation now, because we've got no way of retreating from that. So the best we can do here is try and evolve that Brion. Try please. Oh, that looks like a pre-marina. And pre-marina coming down there. 50 goes back on there, of course. Energy can be attached onto that. Looks as if we are going to do that. Are we going to do water? Or are we going to do fairy? Ah, right. Cool. Okay, so we're using the harmonics there, uh, which allows you to uh, basically insert two energies instead of just one. It's a pretty cool ability, especially during pre-release. Whether it sees any play, I really don't know. It might speed up a few things, but it's uh, it's clunky, because obviously you've got to try and evolve it into a stage two. So paralyzation comes off now. So we can either try and do it again and get two more energies off. He's put a Mary down. Looks as if he might only have one card in hand there, which he's attaching, and he's got nothing to hand. Is this going to be a 50-50 split here? I think so. So another 50 coming down there. Knocks out the Lele there. Which means that that pre-marina comes up front. We can do some damage here. But it's not going to be enough to knock it out. We can put it asleep as well. And then that would be the luck of the dice. Um, we've got a copycat. But we're not going to really copycat for one are we? No. We can't use that unless we attach an energy. We're not going to copy that for one, are we? Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Okay, so we're copycatting for one. This better be one awesome card. 
If not, it's going to be, I think it's 80 damage, sleep, and uh, hope that when he rolls, he will not wake up. Because if he does, we're knocked out, and that's it. And let's have a little look. Okay, seeing if he wants to split. Does he want to split? There we go, there's the split there. All right, split five times. Flip it, hey, five times, that first card. Is it a good card? Ooh, what, I, I don't even know what it is. Might be in a sightseer, I'm not too sure. He can't play it, I think it was a supporter. Think. Okay, so the sleep goes on, the 80 goes on. Draws for turn, and he should be rolling. There we go, there comes the roll. Does he wake up? Bang, he wakes up. And that, didn't really need to do anything because he can just do 50 and knock us out, which is game. So round one is done. That, was, that wasn't that was bad, that was, you know, pretty quick. Pretty quick, and wow, is that my prizes? Yikes. Whoo, some interesting prizes there. Yeah, don't forget that energy from the Lost Zone and the discard. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right. So, not the not the best of uh, starts for us. Definitely not. But uh, that Harmonics ability, is uh, it, it, it was quite interesting. Um, and I also quite like using Wigglytuff. That was a very, very interesting thing indeed. Um, being able to do... I think it was 70, and then if you had a Fairy Charm, 70 more, 140. Now, 140 during a pre-release is some pretty devastating uh, damage, so uh, that was pretty cool indeed. So definitely, uh, if you if you have got pre-releases coming up, definitely try and get your Jigglies and Wigglytuffs, because uh, that's going to be very, very cool indeed, especially with those Fairy Charms. The Lele with the ability with the Fairy Charm works quite well, as long as you can find yourself a Fairy Charm. Um, but it, I'm excited to see what other what other like matchups we can have in our next one. Now, I've only got two pre-releases to go to uh, for this set, but oh, have we got the Whitney? We have got the Whitney. Place the Whitney down as your active. Such a cool looking full art. Yeah, you might have noticed uh, yesterday if you saw the video for the uh, <clears throat> for our box opening. We we pulled a full art trainer, and her name was Whitney. And she was smashed around the table quite a lot by myself because it's one full art trainer that I am searching for a full playset of in terms of full art trainers because it looks insane. There we go. So I'm just showing Nick there. Could I play the Whitney as an active? No basics there for myself. So that's giving him a mulligan. Uh, Nick setting up on his side. Okay, split, split, and split. Cool. All right, can we get an active now? Can we set up nice two, seven? There we go. Okay, anything? Oh, Wigglytuff. We oh, no, it's Jigglypuff. Sorry, ah, and it's not Wigglytuff. What am I about? So I'm putting those two down. So we've got two, two Jigglypuffs. One inactive, one on the bench. And he can draw his mulligan if he wants. Flipping them over. There we go. We've got the dessert Jigglypuff. And he's got two Mareeps there, I think. Is that Marie? Yes, it is. It's just different artwork. Okay. So mulligan and draw. Oh, we've got a Mina in hand as well. Mina's pretty interesting. Pretty cool uh, supporter that allows you to search your deck for a fairy energy and then just attach it. Yes, okay, it is a supporter, but to get that additional energy sometimes is pretty cool. So it's definitely a nice one to have during pre-release. We're copycatting straight away for probably seven, I think, because he had a mulligan and he had a mulligan. He didn't draw for turn, so he's probably only got six there. So six cards, you know, we're sort of restarting our hand a bit here. Okay, let's see what we can get from this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, six. Cool. Okay, what have we got? Any evolutions, any energy? Another Jigglypuff coming to the bench. Now, we've only got two Wigglytuffs. Uh, wiggly 
So that's something to be aware of. Putting energy on there, we're not we're not going to be able to attack, so we're just going to pass over our turn there. And there's a nest ball coming out there. So looking for that basic to put on the bench. And I'm guessing you can find one. Ooh, is that a Natu? You're not doing loss march on me, are you? <laughs> you are not playing. Okay, yes, you've got the Natu, but loss march is going to be a little bit interesting. I've just thought that Amphro. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, loss march has to be Pokemon in the uh, loss zone, not just anything. So, uh, what am I doing there with the flipping. Ah, what's that? Flipping everything over. What's going on? Okay, yeah, so that Deli Bird I was talking about earlier, the, the, the first attack there allows you, once you, you know, attack, you look through your your whole deck, find the tool cards and attach them to all your Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not just like you're looking for the tools and then it puts them in your hand for next turn. You are actually going to uh, attach them, which is pretty cool. So it looks as if he might have just done 10 damage, I think. Oh, lay, lay down. Underground Expedition there to come along and give us four from the bottom. There's a Poplio there. There's also a Fairy Charm, which could be pretty cool. Looks as if we might have pulled out that Fairy Charm in order to possibly get some uh, confusion on that. Poplio comes down, full bench now. I so love that Poplio artwork. It looks so cool. Fairy energy and a water energy. We've already attached for turn, but are we going to play the nasty? And uh, no, we're not. We're not going to. Okay, okay, fair enough. Are we asleep or are we paralyzed? Okay, there's the evolve into the exactu. And energy being attached to the Exatu. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're now coming back. It was obviously paralyzation. And another 10 of paralyzed. Yep, there we go. So we can't get out again because we don't have a Guzma or anything. What is in our hand? That's a Sightseer. We've got a Fairy Charm there, which could be pretty cool to sort of stop him from doing that, which is what we might be able, what we might be doing. If it was me, I would put the water energy onto the Lele. I would play the Fairy Charm down to get that out, and I'd Sightseer for another five. And then you've got more options, because you could possibly start... Oh, here we go, water energy going on there. Or I might actually put it in one of the Jigglypuffs, but no, okay, Lele is... Uh, Lele is getting it. Ability kicks in, and it becomes confused. And then Sightseer for five. few people were just having a little look at, uh, at that card in particular, seeing what it does. Okay, what we got? Oh, I can see a Breon there, which we which we could do this turn, because we put Poplio down last turn. Okay. Come on. What are we doing? Place it down. Go on. Or not. No. Looks as if we just passed over. Okay. So we're using Jigglypuff here as a little bit of a uh, little bit of a scapegoat here to sort of not get knocked out completely. I mean, if he does get a Flaffy, which that looks very Flaffy like in his hand right there, then he's going to be able to do that attach energy and get a knockout on the Jigglypuff because I think he's only got 60 HP, unfortunately. Okay, Flaffy coming out, energy being attached there. That is going to be enough to knock us out. I believe, unless Jigglypuff has got... Oh, okay, Jigglypuff has got seven, 70. Well, that's pretty interesting. Okay, there comes the Brion coming down there. Um, is that a Fabba? Fabba would be useless at this moment because there's no tools, there's no stadiums, and there's no special energies in play. So, TV reporter coming down, allowing us to draw three more cards. 
and then discard one from our hand, Oop, which I think was Faber, because that's not going to be playable at the moment. Uh, energy could be attached to. Okay, Brion is getting the energy. Cool. <coughs> and then we're passing over turn there. Confused, so we won't come out of confusion unless we evolve into the uh, the wiggly turf. And another energy going on to the Exatu. And looks as if he's going to go for the knockout there. Get rid of that. Get a prize. And then we're bringing up something here to try and uh, sort this out. So Lele is coming up here. With the fairy charm, not a lot of energy on here, but maybe we're doing this for a reason. If we can get that pre marina, we could maybe get some double energies going on there. If not, it's gonna be interesting. Fairy charm going on to the Jigglypuff. Another Poplio coming down. Very energy on the Brion there, so that's enough for uh, any of the attacks. Play that for one, which is the counter, not counter catcher, but it's counter, what's it called? I'm not too sure, but basically it's either one or two things. You can either draw one card or draw until you have three in your hand and the other one does something else. But we're copycatting as well, so obviously that didn't... Uh, that didn't work out. We're copycatting for what looks like maybe four or five from his hand. Not a lot of cards in our uh, deck at the moment, I don't think, from what I can see. One, two, three, four, four. Yes, it is four. So we can put a fairy charm down. Ah, oh, timer ball, here we go. Can we get two heads? That might be two heads, maybe two sixes, I think. So we've got three marina and is there no wiggly tufts? There's no wiggly tufts. They're prized. And I think I'm pointing that out at the moment. Great stuff. Okay, so the wiggly tufts are just sat there on the bench doing nothing. All they can do is pound or put the opponent asleep, which really isn't gonna help. So we can evolve. Oh no, we are gonna put it in <coughs> So all our fairy charms are out. I think we only had four three which we've got three there so we're going to retreat our Lele there bring this back bring up pre marina pre marina will be able to do 80 which i believe is a knockout on the flaffy and yep that's all sorted okay uh, nick is going to promote which one probably that one yeah that's it Okay. Um, what's he gonna do now? Because he's got, I think he's got enough energy on there for uh, both attacks, or maybe he might need one psychic to go on there. I'm not too sure. But uh, another lightning energy going onto the Flaffy there, so he's not gonna be able to attach again. He's having a look at his hands, studying what's going on. I'm peering over, as always. What's going on here? What are you doing? Hmm. Very interesting. What's he gonna do? I can't remember what uh, exactly does. That's the thing. So I guess we'll find we'll find out together. We will find out together in this recording. Still studying this set. Still trying to find out fathom everything out and uh, get a good understanding of everything but what is that being played that's a sightseer so he's discarding two cards there which are two energies drawing enough to stack his hand up to five putting all that in the discard pile and has he got i'm pretty sure he can do an attack with the exatu pretty sure I don't think it's enough to knock us out. I don't think so. Ah, ah. ok, 
Okay, I think I remember now. I think it was 30 plus, if, if your opponent has any energy in their hand, it does 60 more. So that should be putting 90 on us. Which I think that is, yeah, 6 and, yeah. That makes sense. There we go. We are now, are there? Okay, Brion coming down there, although we don't have the pre-marina to evolve from that. So that's going to be rather annoying. So the only main attackers we've got really here are that pre-marina. And it is the Tapu Lele and it is the Brion. They are the only ones that are really going to do some any any significant damage that is not just 10 damage. So 80 comes in there and hopefully we can keep this asleep. No, we can't. Brilliant. Would have been nice if that was to happen. So I think the Exatu only has 100 health, which means that... If the Pre-Marina does go down, we can Brion, and I think one of the attacks is just for 20, which is enough to get a knockout there. Although we, we're in a bad place if he can, if he manages to uh, evolve into an Ampharos, because he can just start doing the 50s all around, start spreading that damage. And that could be rather interesting. Look at coming out here for 3 from the bottom. Some people are just having a little look at my... Uh, of my setup, see what's going on. So he's looking to get those three, so he won't be able to support her again. Another uh, Mareep coming down there. He's probably and he probably knows that we've got energies there. There we go. I'm just showing that off there. Oh, what am I going to do next turn? Oh, maybe attach a fairy energy. Just to make sure. There you go. Can see the energy that that is a confirmed knockout there. So we bring up the Brion there. We've got a Mina to hand. That's going to be pretty cool if we've got any energy left in here that is fairy, which we don't. But we do have a full out Whitney, which is always good. I think we had about six cards in hand. So it would have been good if we were to get a fairy energy from that. Just maybe power up the Lele just to do some damage there. Go split coming out on there, and moves over. Uh, energy going onto the Lele there. I think we got enough there for a knockout with the 20. There we go. So that, that's knocked out the mm, Exatu. And is he going to promote the. Is he going to promote the Mareep? The one with energy? No, not the one with energy. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so he's going to attach an energy. Ah, right, okay. He's using that one, which means he's going to do 10 and paralyze us, which we're already getting ready with. Is there no way he can evolve that Marie to a Flaffy on the bench? Another looker coming out here. One, two, three coming out, just to see if he can get anything from that. Maybe some evolutions. Any evolutions at all? Nothing? Come on, Nick! You had two lookers in a row! He is going to do that 10 damage, I can tell. Yeah, there we go. 10 damage, and we're paralyzed, which means we can't get out of there. <sighs> which is brilliant. Oh, look at the face palm right there. Bang! Facepalm.com. Energy going on the Jigglypuff for some reason. Evolving to the Wigglytuff. Whitney for the one. The wonderful Whitney for one. Had to play it. You have to play it in a deck when you get that. It's, it's an amazing looking card. And that's it. We've moved over to his turn. Another... Oh, God. Another Marie coming down. He could just carry on doing this, if I'm honest. He could just carry on doing 10, paralyze 10, paralyze 10, paralyze 10. It works. Energy there. I'm having a look round. I almost think strangling myself. Glasses have come off. I, I'm, I'm, and then a Professor Elms lecture comes out for some reason, which I find really, really odd, but... There we go, he's looking around for some basics in there. Does he find any? Be surprised if he did. 
maybe a, maybe a Natu, maybe. Shuffles there, nothing comes out from there. That's a support of a turn used anyway. Looks if he's going to do the 10 and paralyze us. At this rate, it looks as if we might deck out before we do anything here. Kahili there, which is going to allow us to draw two. It looks as if I'm trying to personally deck myself out here. Draw for two, and then roll. If I get heads, then I keep the card. If not, it goes in the bin, which it obviously just did. More energy in hand there. Not en Are we going to attach that? Yes, we are. Okay, so the Wigglytuff has now got some more energy. Oh, is it his turn? Looks as if I think I've got one more. Yeah, I've got one more card. Oh, this is brilliant. Yeah, there's the headbutt there. I think I'm looking for more cards underneath. Don't know why, but I was. It's not going to happen. Another energy going on there. Please do it. Please evolve into a Flaffy. Do the 40. Put us out of our misery. Or are you just going to do 10 and paralyze us? Because then you have game. Because you will have get Yeah. Is he? Yeah, there you go. 30, paralyzed. Take, take that. Oh, what can we do here? Let's have a little look. Quite a lot, to be honest. Energy going on there. Um, yeah, and there's the scoop coming in there. Pretty much that, that had to be done. I couldn't have taken two prizes that turn. Um, but, yeah... Interesting. I definitely think if I had Wiggly Tufts uh, from the start, that would have been pretty cool, especially with those fairy charms on there. That would have definitely helped. But yeah, I hope I hope I hope you have enjoyed uh, the the video of checking out you know the different uh, pre-release decks and everything which uh, we built, the guys built or I built, and then obviously we went against. A lot of fun, a lot of fun indeed. And there'll be another pre-release coming up on Saturday, so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video.